hello hello uh, in this video I'm going to show you uh, my nail care routine that I follow religiously and that helps me to strengthen my very thin and fragile nails but they become very hard so this is the main ingredient that you need to be looking out for this is literally a magic in the bottle and I'm going to show you how I apply it and this is not a paid presentation I have discovered it myself I've paid it myself um, be on the lookout for this amazing um, nail hardener so now let's take a look at how I take care of my nails so first thing we'll do is remove the existing nail polish I'm using uh, this gel nail on a polish remover. I don't have gel nails, but I do like that it's very strengthening and nourishing. It, it feels good. I usually remove nail polish um, from the nail and from underneath the nail. Because I usually apply nail polish there too. So now we removed nail polish from all the fingernails. You can notice my my nails are slightly yellowish, but I do I do like uh, my natural color. I think um, I don't mind it. It could be worse. I have little indentations in them because I had a little bit of infection uh, around the same time. So you can see that um, many of my nails will have indentation around the same time. So this will have to grow out now. There is no way to deal with this. It's just a natural occurrence. Everything that happens to your body, um, any stress or <laughs> any um, problems or any sickness, diseases, it actually will show on your nails um, at the first sign. Next step would be for me shape them up. I usually um, use a quite fine filer like this. And the way I file the nails is away into the middle corners towards the middle i do like the more circular shape it is my shape okay so we go from corners to the middle i don't really need to adjust my my shape at this time and they're pretty much the same length as well so i don't need to adjust the length much either so after this, I usually take a buffing um, block and I just go over, just go over the tips of my nails the same way at the corners and the tip and a little bit on top. Now we're going to touch up the cuticles. I usually use this gel cuticle remover. Sally Hansen, but you really don't need to use this. You can use absolutely anything. And I just usually apply it around the nail bed. And I'm going to massage it in. I don't really have any cuticles, uh, problem cuticles right now, but I will sh demonstrate to you how I usually would deal with it. And now just rub it in slightly okay so we wait for about a minute okay once it's been a minute i usually use this little tool it has two ends um, most of the time i use this end and and i would just go over and clean up the nail bed around and the the cuticle part right here so cuticle is actually not the skin but not the skin that overlaps right here the cuticle is um, a little skin particles that um, sometimes you see right on the nail growing on the nail so that is what we are actually removing again I don't have too much right now so the next step is when the magic happens now this thing i have never used before until this uh, new year's when i cut off my nails and started fresh with fresh nails short nails 
And this thing is the most amazing, and I am not lying to you. This is a miracle worker, okay? It, it does cost 20 bucks. I bought it for 20 bucks on eBay, and I would spend this every time, trust me. <laughs> Number one. Number two. Do you see how much more is still left in it? Just look. You see the liquid still right here? This is all that I have used in three months. That's all that you use. And then you get nails like this and I have already cut them a bunch of times and made them shorter. You're supposed to apply one to two layers every week and that's all I do is apply two layers every week, once a week or so. This thing will work on absolutely everyone and it will last you probably a few years, this little bottle. Nobody ever talks about this and I'm very surprised because this is the shit. Okay, I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> so what you do is you apply this only on the tips of your nails. So if you have shorter nails, apply it on whatever you consider to be and of the nail. Okay, I'm applying it just on the tips. I usually do it on from inside out and on top. So go over the nail and under the nail. And it, it, it feels like alcohol of some type. Unfortunately, it doesn't show ingredients anywhere, so I don't really know what this is. But it's made in Switzerland and this is magic potion for your nails. I swear, not one nail has broken in three months. However, I do suggest that you um, take it easy with this one and try not to do it more than two, two layers uh, a week. And the reason is that sometimes when you use too much hardener, your nails can actually become brittle. So it's, it's a combination of things that you need to do. Okay, so... You need to moisturize and you need to apply this once a week. My nails are usually very thin, very papery. Um, my nails usually bend, you know, one of those nails. Yep. And this makes, and it disappears almost immediately, you see. It just completely soaks into your nail. So we do um, application number two now, same thing. So the next step would be to apply any type of cuticle oil anything any type of oil will do as well olive oil coconut oil canola oil <laughs> um, with vitamins without vitamins whatever you feel like anything that will help moisturize your nails so so you apply the nail hardener on your tips and then you apply cuticle oil on the rest of your nails and on your nail bed I usually just massage it on the nail, under the nail, on each finger. Okay, so now we're going to leave it um, for some time, maybe 10-20 minutes. Let it absorb into your fingernails and into your fingers. Just relax for now or watch TV or something. <laughs> okay. So once it all dried out, uh, you can wash your hands with soap. Make sure that all the oil is absorbed. And I'm using my um, Purify pre and post application cleanser. You really don't need to use this. You can just use alcohol or nail polish remover, something like that. Okay. And this just helps to prep the surface. After this, I usually take the cuticle pusher and I push away this fold of skin away so my nails more opened up. I don't do too much effort, just a little bit. And this way my nails look a little bit more groomed and slightly longer. Now I apply maximum growth um, or really any type of base coat that you prefer. I, I like the max maximum growth. It's it works, so I don't really need to change it. 
So the trick with growing long nails and strong nails is to apply this clear coat underneath your nail as well as on top. So I always stop start from underneath the nail. Even if you have a short nails, you still need to do this. So go over, under, then I go over. So again, you go under the nail, right under, and then over. And no matter how long your nails get, you need to do this step every time. Again, you apply this under the nail, all over, even in the ridges. And over the nail. And what it does is it envelopes your nail completely and helps the nail polish to stay the right way helps your nails um, to stay away from staining. That's right, we don't want the stained nails. The more of your nail you will cover with the base coat, the less of the stain you will see from the nail color, nail polish colors. So now I have two top coats on. I'm going to apply them. Quick dry top coat to set it all in place and help it dry faster but other than that um, you should be good to go and I needed to do top coats because of the edges because of the little dents that I have in my nail so that's something I have to do with this routine and with the nail hardener um, that I suggested and the oils and then the, uh, the base coat uh, to be applied this way i promise you your nails will look amazing in no time just have patience um and good luck to you i'm going to supply color and show you the end results so i hope this was helpful thank you so these are my nails with a little bit of color after we just finished applying all the other layers to it and as you can tell they look pretty good very strong very healthy almost fake looking a little bit like i hope that this video was helpful to you thank you so much for watching